I'm Cody. And I'm Sarah. And you're watching The Sarah and Cody Show. You can probably tell by the title of the video, we are going to be discussing something very, very personal to me. Let's just get this out of the way and just, just get out with it. <clears throat> I am gay. Now the internet and all of you guys are going to know. And yeah, let's just get into the story. I could say that I was attracted to guys pretty much my entire life. When I was younger, I just liked hanging out more with girls, I guess. Stuff so I used to like sneak peeks at their magazines, at like all the cute guys or whatever. And it was never really weird to me. Like, it was just like what I liked. It wasn't until about like, I don't know, middle school where I was like, huh, this is, this isn't like normal, you know? I tried to suppress these feelings for guys because it was like the norm to be straight, obviously. I tried dating girls, basically, and it was it was so weird. It was not genuine on my part. And also on top of that, I I was in this church group and there was these times where there was teachings that taught against homosexuality. Like I didn't want to be seen as bad. I didn't want to be seen as like a sinner or whatever. So like I suppressed these feelings a lot, especially during my freshman year of high school. I was just taught basically how to dislike myself. There was an. Uh, <laughs> uh, there was a. Yeah. There was a talk on basically why homosexuality is not accepted. I knew I was attracted to guys, and I really suppressed it. And it was really confusing because I was being told not to, and I was trying my hardest to be a good, like, churchgoer or whatever and, like, not like guys, but it's just something that wouldn't change. It's super, like, stereotypical, but, like, I prayed the gay away and it, it didn't work. And, like, I didn't, like, realize what was going on. It was just all so confusing. After that talk, I realized that this wasn't really what I wanted to be a part of. It just didn't feel right to me. So I decided to part ways with that group. I decided to like figure things out for myself and to figure out what I truly believed in and what I wanted my morals to be basically. I just slowly started to try to accept myself because by sophomore year I knew that this these feelings for guys weren't gonna change and I was slowly I was slowly accepting that I'm I'm gay. It wasn't until junior year, it was in November, the first time I ever said to myself out loud that I was gay. Oh, I was sitting in this room, this very room. It didn't look anything like this, but I was sitting here and then I was just like, you gotta say it to yourself. And, and I did. It was huge. Like that was a huge thing for me. After so many years of just suppressing these feelings and like of not wanting to admit to myself that I am gay, it was just, I just, I really wanted to be out. After so many years, it just felt like it needed to be said, especially to my family. That was really scary to me. I had to do it because if I didn't, I would just, I didn't want to live a lie. So I tried telling my dad. We watch HGTV a lot, so like there is a home show playing and then like where the couples try to find a house for themselves and then a gay couple actually showed up on the television. I don't know why, but it just scared me a lot. So I just got up and left. I didn't know what to do, and I couldn't say it out loud. So what I did was I wrote a letter. And on the letter, it basically said, uh, I'm gay, and I hope that you still love me, and I hope that you accept me, and blah, blah, blah. It's like, I don't know, it really scared me. On November 18th, I gave him that letter. I sat there like, in fear, like literally I was like shaking. I didn't know what he was gonna say. But honestly, I'm like one of the luckiest people ever because he just turned to me. He just said that he loved me and that nothing would ever change that. That was a huge sign of relief for me. And like, yeah, just that day was like, it was like the best day of my life. We called up my brother and then I knew that my brother, he wouldn't care. Like I knew that he loved me no matter what. 
So I was just like, hey Matt, <laughs> uh, I have something to tell you. And he's like, what? <laughs> I just was like out with it. Like I just said, I'm gay. And then he's like, okay. And it was like one of the best responses that I could get, just like as if it didn't matter, as if it wasn't even a big thing to tell him. Like I had to wait to tell my mom because my parents are split right now. So I really wanted to tell her in person. So I had to wait a few days to tell her. But like on November 18th, the day I told my dad and my brother, like it was one of the best days ever. I actually, I tweeted, I tweeted something on that day. I'll, I'll try to find it and put it here. Uh, but like, like it was honestly like the best day ever. Then a few days later, I told my mom, I was just talking to my like, mom, I have something weird to tell you. And then I was like, I'm gay. <laughs> and then she's like, how is that weird? And I was like, Nice. <laughs> I don't know, I couldn't ask for a better family because like honestly I love them so much and they they really mean the world to me because of how like supportive like it could have gone like a multitude of ways. I was really lucky like to have such a supportive family and friends. Like granted, yeah, I did lose some friends, but in the end it was it was a really easy a really easy transition. So that's, that's pretty much my coming out story. It was videos like these that really helped me to, to really accept who I am and to really just, just feel comfortable. And like, I just wanted to be able to like, share my experience with you and like, I just hope it reaches a few people that are worried about what the world will think. I hope that you could find the courage to be able to be 100% you and be the person that you really meant to be and yeah, and now, <laughs> some uh, life advice. Ah! Honestly, be you. Be you and be proud. Love the gaze. <laughs>